If you're looking for a way to set up WSJTX with your World Radio League account, you've come to the right place. Let's dive right in. First of all, you'll want to make sure you're signed into your World Radio League account. You can see here I've got my account pulled up, and now I'm going to open up WSJTX. Now that I have WSJTX open, I'm going to open the Settings or Preferences page. You can see that right here. The first step is to connect WSJTX to your radio. Once you've done that, then we can get into connecting it to World Radio League. You're going to want to go over to the Reporting tab. We'll take a look here at the UDP server port number. Copy that to your clipboard. You'll need that here in just a moment. Click OK. Then you're going to want to open your World Radio League CAT Control app. Now it's very important that if you have WSJTX connected to your radio, you do not want to connect World Radio League CAT Control to your radio. You only want to stream contacts from WSJTX. We'll go into settings. We'll go down here to this UDP port. We have the default port set here, but if for some reason your port is different, you can take this and override it with the port that you copied out of WSJTX. Now you can select your World Radio League logbook in which you want to log the contacts that you stream from WSJTX. After that, just click Start Listening. Now don't close the World Radio League app, but you can minimize it or move it to another screen. Now WSJTX works for a lot of different modes, but as you can see here, I'm running FT4 on 20 meters. Let's see if I can make a contact. And just like that, we made the contact. Now when this window pops up, all you need to do is click OK. Now we can minimize or close our WSJTX window. We'll go into logbooks, find the logbook that we selected, and there's our contact. As a point of clarification, you may be wondering why this log is MFSK when we were using FT4. Well, FT4, unlike FT8, is a submode of MFSK. Many logging programs use MFSK as the universal standard, so to avoid any conflicts or errors, that's what we did too. Now, if you have any questions about the process, feel free to reach out, community at worldradioleague.com. You can tag me at N0APX. You can also reach us in our Discord, link in the description below. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment down below, let us know what you think of the video, let us know what you think of this feature. We always love hearing your feedback. I'm Andy, N0APX, Product Manager for World Radio League, saying 73, and we'll see you next time.